So today was busy, definitely busy. Uh, we cleaned up around the house. Uh, today, Sunday's trash day, so we always have to pick up all the recycling and all the trash, pick up the yard stuff. And uh, last night, I don't know if I mentioned this last night when I was closing out yesterday's vlog, but last night we take the dogs out just right, right before I go to bed. It's like 2.30 in the morning. Take the dogs out. Georgia gets skunked. So then we had to deal with that for the next hour. And now we still have a oh do go fuck yourself <laughs> uh, floating around the house. I finished the script for issue four yesterday. It cleared very beautifully. I love it. I go to start issue five today and I'm like, all right, I got this opening sequence. And then I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the opening sequence and I'm like, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing a sequence that I had intended to use. Go back through my notes and there's this huge sequence, throwback to some Naruto, kind of like the tree jumping kind of stuff. Um, and I'm like, I really do want to kind of have the sequence though, like how they get there. And there's also this, I mean, there's just a, a, a decently important sequence that needs to be done. So now I'm thinking, well, how do I execute that and still maintain issue four opening with this? I can't really like shove it back in, or issue five rather, opening with this, the, the one sequence I told you about, the one I was really excited about. And I think that's why I forgot about that other scene because I was really excited to open issue five with that like busting open kind of scene. So what I think is gonna have to happen is I think I'm gonna have to I think I'm gonna have to make issue six, like a 15 or 20 page issue. So going to the 10, 10 page format has helped with every single issue up until now. Um, like two more pages in issue four would have allowed me to have that sequence. I don't wanna do that. I like the format we have set up with 10 pages a piece. I love it. Um, I'm gonna see how it goes because here's the thing. The way issue six goes, it always ended with kind of a, so you have your climax, you have your resolution, and then I have this like epilogue piece that's really important to drive the story further. And I feel like that can't be an issue on its own because having just had like, you know, two or three issues of really solid kind of action to have this mainly conversational issue to close it out is kind of boring. Um, so I feel like if I add that on, if I tack that on in like a five page addendum to issue six, I can do that, which will mean that issue six will now open with that scene I wanted to write. Issue five will now detail the incursion into the final incursion into the warlords, uh, into the warlords compound. So that's gonna have to be a little, I'm gonna have to reformat that a bit. Yeah. Cause I really don't wanna make like issue, I don't wanna make issue four 12 pages for no, I feel like it's for no reason. That sequence can easily go into the next issue, but that does push back that one sequence, which means I'm gonna have to kind of reshuffle that story. So that, that ripping open scene is actually gonna go after the assault, when, when they go into the final conflict with uh, with the warlord and his his guards, let's say. <laughs> so it's story development day. <laughs> that's that's what it's been. Um, so I, I think I have a handle on how that's going to go down now, and uh, I'm I'm pretty confident I can get I still get this done tomorrow. Um, not I really don't have much planned for tomorrow. So as long as I can get up early, it's still not midnight. So as long as I can get up early and do some more cleaning down here, kind of get some stuff done, um, I think I think I'll be pretty solid. I might I might like walk down to Starbucks and do the do the writer thing at Starbucks. If you're not seen writing, well, you're not a writer. <laughs> I'm gonna get to bed, kick off the next day tomorrow early. Appreciate you guys for watching. See you tomorrow.